All right, so this is Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, and I revisited this because there was a lot of crashing, a lot of issues with it, and we have a new DXVK that we can use that is actually pretty impressive. It uses low latency, and it's compiled different, but all that's going to be in the description. You're going to have links to the source, where to download it on Discord, and I've packaged uh, I packaged it for WinLater, so... It's very easy to install. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to do that in case you're wanting to try it out. But anyway, check this out. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys here in just a second. Looks like the ship's flying steady again. Let's go check on the others. All right, so previously in this area... It was really laggy at first, um, and it would stutter throughout the game, but now with the new DXVK, that's all gone. Like, you'll initially stutter probably for the first five or six seconds while it's compiling the shaders and caching them, but once that's done, you're good. So, anyway, continue watching. There's a whole lot more to this. On the verge of entering a new Skydom. Don't ease up now, Captain. a whole flock of wyverns. Were they hiding in the clouds? Neo! Rosetta! Get your head on the lift! It's on the port side! On it! Yelling jerks! Looking good! Our way. Just like... Uh. This should do it! Go All right, so this is going to be a great example of how the caching and the shaders and everything reduce the stutter. So you're going to see the stutter at the very beginning of this, and then it smooths out to a very stable frame rate. But remember, I don't have the frames locked right now, and I'm going to do that here in just a second just to show you the overhead and how much better and smooth this game actually plays once you lock it to a playable frame rate instead of 60 or 120 frames per second just locking it like 30 and it just smooths the whole game out Better already. Hang on. We're 
time for some trouble. Damn it! How are we supposed to dodge that? You kids all right? Oh boy, engine room's been hit. We're about to fall into the freezing threshold. Oigan! Right, I'll hit the repairs. Do what you can to slow our descent. You can do it. There must be a way out of this. Don't give up. He's too tough. You guys think we'll make it through this? Hey, we're not licked yet. Muhammad just needs a couple more hard smacks. There's only so much I can do with the wheel. Oh, yeah. Hurry it up, boy. Oh, this? Oh, no. We can't take much more. Seriously? Does Muhammad think we're a buffet or... All right, so these are the settings that I'm using in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it to 30 frames per second, and the rest of this video is gonna be pretty much butter smooth till the end. And there's no real stuttering after that. It's just, it's great. Anyway, stay till the end, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys here in just a minute. Take a 
Yo. Hey, what a selection! Aww, I don't know what most of this stuff is for. Come right up, folks! Feast your eyes on my incredible work tonight! We've got some time. Double time! What? Just a moment. We're counting on you. But it won't stay that way for long. Please, do everything you can to free them. Cut them down. It's over. Let's That's see some... Spirit and animal pet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, so as promised, I'm going to show you where to download everything. I have everything hosted on Discord. You can read the description exactly what this DXVK does. I do have a couple of them packaged for when later, um, including 2.7.1 like you've seen here, 2.6.3, and I think 2.6.4 as well. But anyway, it's all here on the screen. You can read it. There's the source of where I got it, and then I just packaged it for when later so you can easily install it. I'm also going to show you the settings here in just a moment. Um, you're going to want to download the Box64 version 0.3.8. There are newer ones like 3.9. They're probably going to work better, but I didn't use those in this video specifically. But there are a few environmental variables you're going to want to also include. I have those in the description as well as on the Discord when you go to download them. And you can see them in the video. But... Definitely install them. You're going to do that in the uh, content section. You're going to select the DXVK and then install and then select the WCP you downloaded. Do the same thing with the Box64. You'll just go to the Box64 section, install, and select the WCP that you downloaded. Then you're going to ensure that you have both of those check or turned on the async and the caching which you can also do that in the environmental variables, which I do that anyway, just in case I forget to check those boxes. But these are all my settings. Copy them to a T, and you're going to have performance like I did in this video. Hit that subscribe button, and thank you for watching.